each and every one of us is on a journey or a path. Whereas the way I like to think of it, we're almost climbing up this ladder, so to speak. And right now, thank you. Right now, you're in college. You know the answer. Shout out. It's going to be an interactive presentation. All right. So you have a job, you raise a family, and then it's going to be time to retire. And then after you retire, you you die. Maybe you travel, move down to Florida with everybody else. Now after that, you... We're going to keep this as a more of a motivational thing. We're going to put... We're going to set new goals. This is merely an example of a path. An example of a path. This journey, this ladder of life. And if you think about where you are right now, you're down at the bottom. You're building the foundation of your life. People always talk about, you know, you only live once and just live your life. I look at it as build your life. You can build something, build something great. And it's really up to you. Now along the journey, if you think about it right now, you're building that foundation. And along that journey, you're gonna have to make certain choices. And when you make choices, you use knowledge. Knowledge is made up of three things. Three things. First thing, personal experience. Your experience, things that you've done, that you've learned from. Second thing, second thing, formal education, something that you're getting right now. And the third and huge, huge thing is outside influences. This can be friends, this can be family, this can be TV shows, this can be advertisers. All of that helps influence your choices, your decisions. So when you're thinking about college and where you want to go and what you're going to do, when it comes to certain things, like drugs, alcohol, other choices like that, sometimes we make poor choices, even though we know the consequences. Like when it comes to drugs and alcohol, how could that affect your ladder? How could that affect your life? What could happen? You go to jail, you get arrested, you could die. That would definitely stop wherever that would be it, right there. Go to jail, die. What else could happen? You don't only kill yourself, you kill somebody else. A baby mom, uh, pre unplanned pregnancy. So you know all of these things. You know what can happen. You can get addicted. You can hurt relationships. Lose your job, lose scholarships. All of these things can happen. You know them. Yet, even though we know what can go wrong, sometimes we still make choices that are bad for us. Why? What are the excuses? What, I, know what's ha I know what can go wrong, but I'm still going to do it because. What's the excuse? YOLO, you only live once. What else? Oh, who said that? <laughs> Raise your hand. Be proud. It's okay. All right, excellent. You can come up. Peer pressure. Peer pressure. Perfect. All right. Yeah. Can you please tell everybody here what peer pressure is? Definition. All the cool kids are doing it. So it's not necessarily pressuring. Like if I have a beer, I'm like, come on, drink. That's not necessarily what we're talking about. And if that happens, get new friends. <laughs> what it might be is that you might just be in a situation and look around and feel pressured just by looking around, just by your perception of what's going on. That's what we're actually going to do right now because it's a very real, very, very real thing. You're throwing a party, okay? You're going to show up. You're going to shake hands, you're going to offer them a drink, and you're not going to say anything. Are you ready? Go. What's going on, dude? You're going to offer him a drink and... You want, would you like a drink? Yeah! Do you, do you see this? That happens fast. We'll do it again. Ready? Go. Hey, dude. How's it going? Would you like a drink? Do you see? That snap is how long Elliot here has to decide what he's going to say. What he's going to do. He's not going to walk up, shake hands. He's going to be like... Would you like a drink? Hmm, let me look at my ladder of life. <laughs> let me think about all things that can go wrong and... What could happen? What would my mom want me to do? All these, is that what's going to go? No, he's going to. Instead, Elliot might be walking up and looking around 
and seeing people and like, oh, he's here, he's drinking. And I play, he's in my class, he's drinking. And oh, dude, Hassan's here. Oh, I got a mad crush on her. And she's drinking, and I want her to like me. So, uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to impress her. Instead, we have to, when we're in these situations, we have to take a step back and think before we act. The power of perception is a very, very powerful, powerful thing. And it can lead to real reaction. I'll show you what I mean. What I want you to do is stare right here. Don't worry, I'm not going to hypnotize you yet. Just stare right here. I'm going to count down from 10. When I hit one, look at my head. Not until then. 10. Stare, stare, stare. Staring. Two. Keep on staring. One. Look at my head. Now, obviously, obviously my head didn't really shrink or grow. You saw it happen, which led to a real reaction. A real reaction is something you just perceived. See, we always think that we're very logical people. We think before we act, but in reality, we react first and then use our logical mind to justify our actions. Right there, my head didn't really shrink or grow. Just an illusion. And if you use your logical mind, you'd probably say, well, his head couldn't have shrunk or grew because he'd be dead right now. Therefore, it didn't happen, so it's not funny. Instead, we look at it and we go, well, I laughed because I just saw the illusion of his head shrinking and growing. You justify your actions after you act. When it comes to certain things that we do, sometimes we use that same, that same logic. I did it because we're in college. That's what I'm supposed to do. I did it because everybody else was doing it. All the cool kids were doing it. When you look at the power of perception, think about who we're being influenced by where that comes from.